Okay, we have Jaden. He wants to go straight to questions. Who would like to start for us? We'll go here front row on the left. Hey, Jaden, Jacques Doucet, WAP TV in Baton Rouge. Kind of a, a goofy question to start, but your, <laughs> your teammate said that Mike Leach was talking about a grizzly bear all the way up. <laughs> oh, what, what was that about? I, I really didn't hear too much of it because I was, I was just trying to get a little, a little sleep, but I didn't get too much. But once he told me, I was like, yeah, that's probably something that he was talking about. He is. He's big on everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, third row on your left. Pleasure to meet you, David Edelstein, WJTV, CBS Television in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, got a lot of experience, obviously, playing uh, coming in this year, and um, just wondering what, what sticks out to you about this season. What, what do you think might be different um, about the Bulldogs come 2022 start? Uh, I feel like we we bonded more than we usually have, and I feel like everybody has come together to you know strengthen the defense and the offense, you know, making everybody better. So I feel great about this season. Third rolling. Tyler Shaw with KBTX and College Station. Uh, what do you remember about the A and M game last year? And you know, I know your teammate was saying how much of a high point that was for you guys coming into the underdogs and getting it done in College Station. Just, you know, what do you remember from that game? For one, I remember it was very loud. And uh, it was, I mean, it, it had us, every, everybody on our toes. And, you know, everybody was trying to get the win. Everybody was, you know, making sure that it was in the right spots. We was trying to, you know, uh, be the best defense we could be, be the best offense we could be. And it was, it was a great experience, you know, to get that dub. And we all put that, put that in the line. We'll go to the front row here. Dick Cox with Lindy Sports and Cox Sports Broadcasting. What motivates you to want to play college football and to play in the SEC? What motivates me is my, my mom and my sisters and my fiance and brothers because I know they all they all depending on me to, you know, do what I can do and they, they love to see me happy and they love to see me do what I love to do. And I just I really love this game and it's a big part of my life now. On the left in the back row. The come from behind, oh, Dan Peck, ESPN 1067 in Auburn. The come from behind victory uh, at Jordan-Hare Stadium last year was a pretty memorable game. It's one of your better games yeah. of, the, of the season. Uh, what do you remember about uh, coming back to beat Auburn and, and sort of the attitude on the sidelines uh, while you guys were, were digging yourselves out of that hole? I really felt a, a, a real game changer in that game because everybody went from being low to being real loud. Uh, on the sideline, everybody was hyped about the game. Everybody was ready to win that game, and it was a it was a real great experience coming all the way back to to win that game. To your right, third row. Uh, you know, with all the highs and lows you guys went through last season, what what was your biggest takeaway? Or, you know, what did you learn from you know what you guys went through last year? I feel like we can all face adversity as as we did, and we we all could. You know, make a better uh, make a better team and come together. And I feel like we did that, and we're continuing to do that now. We'll go back to your left on the third row. Thanks again. Um, just wondering, how would you kind of know this year that Mississippi State is successful? How do you kind of judge? Um, where, where's the bar that you're thinking of as yourself or as a team for making this a successful campaign? Uh, for, for me, I just look at it as everybody has done more work than they have ever done, and everybody has put more focus into this season, and everybody is like trying to be trying to have the best season that they can have ever. And I, I feel like Mississippi State is going to be have a great season this year. We'll go back over here in front row again. What's been your greatest motivation, or who has had the most impact? on your life as a person and as a player? Uh, actually, Ray Lewis was, was my favorite player because he, he was, a, for me, I looked at it as he was a dog. And I mean, I wish he went to Mississippi State, but hey, it is what it is. But um, he, he's a real great, he was a real great player. And his mindset and his skill was, was really intelligent to me. And I just loved everything that he did. and. That's where, I, that's where I got the, the motivation and the grind from him. To your left, back row again. 
How did you find out that you were going to be one of the three uh, players representing your team at SEC Media Days this year? And is there anyone on the team that, that has had a, a really impressive offseason that, that you'd like to recognize? Uh, I, we found out from uh, from Brandon, one of our guys, and he told us. And I, I was very shocked because I never thought I would be doing anything like this. And then, like, uh, this is really something something really blessing to me. And one guy that I want to shout out uh, on our team is Cameron Young because he, he showed that a lot of um, progress and he helps a lot of people and he makes sure everybody is doing their business and he's a, a great leader. How important is the Egg Bowl? Is that what? How important is the Egg Bowl every Thanksgiving? <laughs> I mean, it got to be important if it's on Thanksgiving because that's the day that you want to eat. But that day uh, is very important to me because, you know, we got to show that we're the, uh, we're the best and we can do everything that we can. And it's a blessing to be playing on that day. Front row. Uh, the LSU game two years ago, you went to Tiger Stadium, shocked them last year, <coughs> close game in Starkville. What are your thoughts about returning to uh, Baton Rouge this year in that game? Uh, my thoughts on that is that it's gonna. I know it's gonna be very loud there, but I feel like we're, we're gonna do everything that we can, and I'm ready to play there. Uh, this is my, gonna be my second time playing there, so it's gonna be real fun. To your right, fourth row, Justin Woodard, KX TV College Station. What does Will Rogers mean to your team? Obviously, he's getting a lot of preseason love and went off a pretty good season last year. What's he mean to you guys? Uh, he means a lot to us because you know he's a he's a leader. You know he's young, but he's a leader on the uh, offense, and he try to lead everybody that's even on the defense. And you know he says what he had to say, and it's it's great uh, things to bring to your uh, to your mind. And he makes sure everybody does what they need to do. We have any final questions? All right, another one up here. Do you have any superstitions or any rituals you go through to try to get pumped up on game day? No, sir, no, none at all. <laughs> okay, hey, Jaden, thanks very much.